We are huge fans of the rugged badlands that make up Theodore Roosevelt National Park. We try to visit every year. We stay at the Cottonwood Campground right in the park. There are no hookups, but we really don't need them. Besides, this is our view out the back door of our campsite. I tried to get a couple hours of work in, but how could anybody concentrate on work in such a beautiful place? I gotta show you this. This is pretty cool here at our campsite. This is a, a big cottonwood tree. And uh, look at here. Can you see that stuff right there? <laughs> that is bison fur. The uh, bison uh, come, come down here into the cottonwood campground and they rub themselves against these big trees. And uh, they've left their fur there. Very cool. We enjoy hiking and exploring in especially remote places like this at Theodore Roosevelt National Park. This is the uh, Little Missouri River and uh, you can walk a pretty good stretch of it. Uh, you'll often see bison here and it's just, listen, quiet. <laughs> I mean, I think that's what we like most about it, about this lifestyle, is being able to go to places like this where it's quiet. Do you hear anything? No, no engine noise, maybe some birds, a little bit of the water, but just remote, peaceful. It just makes everything good, doesn't it? It sure does. I live in Minneapolis and I'm an artist, I'm an oil painter, I do primarily portraiture and I teach out of Minneapolis, but I was born and raised in North Dakota and um, I simply love the Badlands. I try to come here every year and it's just peaceful, it's just gorgeous to me, it's just stunning. I love the vistas, these gentle rolling hills and it's just layer upon layer and then you add in the sedimentary erosion and I love it. It's peaceful and you know it just makes me feel great to be here and it's a perfect day. <laughs> look over there. Isn't that gorgeous? Really pretty. Oh look at the bison over there. Wow he is huge. Look over the hill. Wild horses. President Theodore Roosevelt stood on these same rocks and it was here that he fell in love with the land and conservation. We owe the National Park System to him and at the park entrance is a small exhibit in his honor, including the original cabin he lived in. Here's a historic photo of it at the time and the president dressed in his buckskins and carrying his hunting rifle. Each night during the summer in the gateway town of Medora, a rip-roaring western musical show pays tribute to Roosevelt, along with a lot of cowboys and cowgirls kicking up their heels in a beautiful outdoor theater. This is a terrific show that needs to be a part of your visit to this part of North Dakota. And before you take in the show, come early. Grab a bench to also take in the scenery and, on the same grounds, enjoy a cowboy steak fondue dinner with thick cuts of beef cooked on pitchforks in a boiling oil. Medora offers a fun night out. 
But back inside the park, it's the wilderness and the peacefulness that we most appreciate. So what do you want to do today? Well, so you're assuring me it's not going to rain. Mm -mm, no rain. Okay. Partly cloudy, 70s, not bad. I just want to explore. want to look around and see what's here. So that hiking? We've missed, that we've missed on other trips. So we'll stay another night, I guess. I think so. I like it here. Yeah. It'll fill up. The place will fill up uh, from noon on. But mm -hmm. uh, right now we've got, we got the place to ourselves. And we'll be here at sunset tonight, so maybe we'll see... Mm -hmm the bison come through. I hope so. But it was a treat last night seeing the horses. Yeah. How many horses did we see? Six adults and two colts. Now, if you want to camp here, they do take reservations. About half of them are reserved and the other half are for walk-ins. So if you plan on being a walk-in, get here early so that you can get a spot. That's first come. First serve. Now this is our third visit to the Cottonwood Campground here at Theodore Roosevelt National Park and uh, we've not had any problem just coming in. We get in before noon and there seems to be plenty of a selection of great spots. We hope you enjoyed this video and would you do us a favor and give it a thumbs up, like this video. Also we ask that you would subscribe to our RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. When you subscribe, click the little bell icon and that way you'll be notified when we have new videos up. We're Mike and Jennifer Weddle and we want to thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you down the road. Mm -hmm.